American Indian confidence in COVID vaccines increased from 59% to 67% from December to January. That's according to a UNR study that we first showed you earlier this week. Well, the Reno Sparks Indian Colony says they're moving to a new phase in the vaccination process starting on Monday. Jefferson Tyler is now live outside of the Tribal Health Center now. Jefferson. That's right, Ryan. According to them, they say that starting Monday, they are going to start vaccinating Native Americans who are 18 and over who fall under their jurisdiction. And that includes some of those who belong to the health center but aren't tribal members. Previously, they were giving vaccines to those who are 65 and older, but now they're opening it up to the rest of the health center's 4,000 members. Our leadership really uh, paved the way by, uh, by getting vaccinated first and actually talking uh, live to some of the people on our Facebook about encouraging them to uh, that by getting the vaccine, you are really protecting not only yourself, but you are protecting the communities. Now, their supply of vaccine comes straight from the federal government. They're looking forward to when the Johnson & Johnson vaccines come in. They believe this will allow them to give shots to Native Americans who live in more isolated areas. Now, you can contact the Tribal Health Center here and try to find out if you qualify to get the, uh, to uh, qualify to get a shot, or you can set up an appointment. You want to speak to them about that as well. Covering the story, Jefferson Tyler, 2 News. All right, Jefferson, thanks.